Steel loved to laugh. And by God, did we laugh. We had the oddest sense of humor on the planet. I mean, if he were here right now, he'd say to me, Ro, I'm looking for a stained glass window. If you see one around, let me know. <laughs> he had nicknames for all of us. Keith was Kitty. Shane was Shanice. Mikey was Michaela. And I was Rosaline, of course. Yep. And he was Stephanie. He loved it when we were all together laughing and joking. He provided us with so many funny lines throughout the boys' own days. Some you may have heard, and some in this house I cannot repeat. <laughs> you know. We were the campus straight band we knew. Except for one fella, and, and he knows who he is. <laughs> that is why Steve always felt so comfortable in boys' own. He, he thought he was the best camper in the world. He wasn't even the best camper in the band. Isn't that right, Duster? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was so excited at the prospect of the new Boys Own Studio album. He called me on Friday after receiving a bunch of new songs, saying how much he loved them. He said it to me, let's go, let's go, I can't wait. He was putting the finishing touches to his first book, The Tree of Seasons, and there are only a few pages left. And by hook or by crook, those who loved him, and there's so many in this room, were going to finish that book. We now pray for his guidance and spirit to show us the way. It's with a heavy heart and great sadness that I say that the world has lost one of its brightest stars. We have lost our brother, and I have lost my wingman. <clears throat> he will live on in the songs, and whenever us four are together, his spirit is alive. So for steel, we'll carry on. But it'll never be the same without him. <sighs> Sorry. A beautiful man who is now the perfect angel, forever young and never forgotten. A man, a friend, a brother, a son, a husband, and a hero. <sighs> We're gonna really miss you, brother. <laughs> Loved you. We always will. Uh, and we know you have found peace, perfect peace. Uh.